Okay, everyone, so Apple ID or iCloud ID is called a foundational account that access to all these digital services. It provides every user to be able to use every services such as iCloud, App Store, Apple Music, iMessages, and even more. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary to learn how to create an Apple ID for your iPhone. In this video, we're going to be talking about how you easily can create an Apple ID without that payment method. And this process literally worked for your iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, and it also works for your iPhone 12 Pro Max as well. Now, let's go ahead and see this process. Alright guys, now to create an Apple ID on your iPhone, the first thing you need to do is to open your settings, tap on sign in your iPhone. Now here, go ahead and tap don't have an Apple ID or forget it. Tap create Apple ID. Go ahead and fill up your first name, last name and birthday. Tap next. Now here, if you have an email address, you simply can type your email address. But if you don't have an email address, you simply can tap don't have an email address. Now tap get an iCloud email address. Now go ahead and enter the new email address for your account. I'm just going to go ahead and tap the new email address for myself. After selecting your email address, go ahead and tap next. Now tap create email address. Go ahead and set a new password and then verify it. Now after setting your password and verifying it, go ahead and tap next. Alright guys, afterward, go ahead and select your country and your phone number. After entering your number, go ahead and tap next. Now it will send you the verification to your number, wait for the time being unless you get the verification code and once you get it, it will take automatically. Now go ahead and tap agree to the terms and conditions. Tap agree. Well, right now as you can see, you have just created an Apple ID but still your Apple ID is not usable. Well, if you ask us why, let me show you why. So now if you just go ahead and open your App Store, just like that. And if you try downloading any apps whatsoever, it will not be working. So I'm just going to go ahead and download an apps. Okay, let me just go ahead and download this apps right now. Tap install and I'm going to go ahead and enter the password. Tap sign in. All right. All right, guys, right now as you can see these pops up just opening right now and it is saying this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store. Now to fix this problem, I mean to make your Apple ID usable, go ahead and tap review. Now go ahead and just tap on or the toggle on the agree to the terms and conditions and just select your country. Afterward, go ahead and tap next. Now from here, Especially if you don't want to use your credit card for your Apple ID, you can simply tap on none. However, you can see a select PayPal or credit card if you want to. And if you just go ahead and come down here, then you'll be able to see that you need to fill up that billing address from here. So now we're just going to go ahead and fill up this billing address and you need to just fill up your billing address in order to make your Apple ID usable for yourself. After filling your billing address, Go ahead and tap next. Now tap continue. After this, if you try to download anything or if you're going to use your Apple ID, it will be usable and you'll be able to do anything you want. Let me just give you an example. If I just try to download the exact same apps that we have tried to download before, then let's see what will happen. Tap install. Let me just go ahead and enter the password again. Tap sign in. Now, as you can see, it's done. Let me just go ahead and see what else happens. All right, guys, you can clearly see these apps now start downloading and now you'll be able to use these apps or you'll be able to use your Apple ID to do whatever you want. All right, guys, this is the way you actually can create an Apple ID by yourself. And hopefully this video was helpful. If you think so, you can let us know by just dropping a comment and you also can subscribe to this YouTube channel in order to get a good content for yourself. All right, guys, see you in the next video.